Hello, Ian. How are you doing? Good to see you. Very good, thanks. So, Ian, uh, a couple of weeks ago, you participated in our Food Packaging Forum's eighth workshop, which was an uh, all online event this year. And how did you enjoy that? Well, it was the first time I've joined one of your workshops, and uh, I really enjoyed it. And I was struck by how international it was. And also that there were so many, you know, there were multiple stakeholders were represented at the meeting. And, and for me as a researcher, I think this is a, you know, a different opportunity and an ideal opportunity for us to, to reach out to non-academics and test some of our policy ideas on a, on a broader audience. Um, and uh, I really appreciated the small group discussions and, and these are always the best part of any online meeting. Yeah, that's great when you can actually uh, discuss one on one with with a yeah, few people. Yeah, yeah exactly. So um, you did a presentation which is, received a lot of interest at the workshop. Can you right. briefly tell us what you wanted people to take away from your talk? Yeah, well, the the the, the presentation was about the essential use concept, and uh, this is this is something which you know we have um, developed. And I, in the talk, I applied it to, you know, in a case study to food contact materials. And in my opinion, uses of PFAS in food contact materials are, are not essential because there are alternatives that are safe and sustainable by design. And of course, this is just one of the many non-essential uses of PFAS in society that can be phased out in the near future. Mm, yeah, because obviously PFAS are a class of chemicals that are very high concern. And we need to have a strategy that hopefully most stakeholders can agree on for how to do that. So, of course, there's there's differences of opinion, you know, about uh, whether all PFAS are problematic. Um, but we think that you know they are problematic because mm. of their extremely high persistence. Great. So, thank you so much, Ian. Um, for anyone who wants to learn more about PFAS and food contact and also the uh, essential use concept that Ian and colleagues have developed, please have a look at Ian's full presentation. And with that, I thank you, Ian, very much and wish you all the best. Take care. Thank you. Take care.